So as you can see, the display is now counting in binary. And you can see I also soldered some buttons in place. So that, so that now you have some user interface. Oh man, they are actually quite hard to press. Not sure if you can hear the clicking noise over my computer fans, but that's quite heavy spring in there. Nice. Yep, well anyway, it's not really counting one second per second because I don't have the crystal in place yet. That's going to happen soon. Crystal will go on top here right next to the power cap. I'm not sure that's very good design. It's actually pretty bad design. You want to keep your power supplies close to power supplies and so that time is unaffected. But this is sort of like the decoupling cap for this chip. Anyway, yeah, I won't go through design of this board because it's not really that good board. The next iteration should fix some of these problems. But hey, I don't really work at high speeds unless you consider one megahertz high speed, in which case, mm, <laughs> yeah, nah, one megahertz is sort of a minimum for microcontrollers. Doesn't consume much power. Well, anyway, when I work on the software more, I'll post some updates. That's pretty much it for now, and yep. I will post another video when this is done. Be good.